Old Town Bistro is probably the jewel of Old Town Katy, and it's one that a lot of people aren't aware of. Hold ourselves to the same caliper as any restaurant does. Restaurant quality for sure. You will be amazed at the high quality of product that these kids are able to produce on a daily basis. It is restaurant quality for sure. There is nothing better than watching the future generation of chefs doing what they do best. I much enjoy baking the most, so cookies, cupcakes, cakes. I, I make a mean steak. I do a lot of country food. It's kind of where my heart's at, so chicken fried steak, fried chicken. You ready to go? The Old Town Bistro is a restaurant that is open to the public that is run entirely by student chefs here in KDISD at Miller Kern Technology Center. It is the capstone of our culinary arts program. Well, I've just always been really fond of being in the kitchen, and with my grandma and us baking, I just fell in love with it. And so they apply, and if accepted, they can start as juniors, and they go through the fundamentals in culinary arts as a junior, and then they come back for practicum their senior year. So as of last year, I was the 2022 Culinary State Champion for Texas, along with I placed sixth in nationals for SkillsUSA. Food's great, the, the people here are amazing. Come down and eat. We are open to the general public. We have social media accounts on Twitter and on Facebook. Our students will learn everything from safety and sanitation as they work through their Serve Safe Manager course, right. knife skills, all the basic cooking methods sauteing, frying, grilling. We even occasionally bring a smoker on campus and show them how to do a good old Texas barbecue. The main thing that we've learned that I take away the most is mise en place, which means everything in its place, which has overall given my life more organization. Our breakfast menu runs the gamut from chicken and waffles, which is always a fan favorite, to a classic eggs benedict. And um, we also have eggs anyway, strawberry Nutella crepes. So it was a lovely breakfast this morning, prepared by the culinary arts students. I ordered Eggs Benedict and it was delicious. French omelet with cheese, bacon and toast. I'm very excited for what the future of culinary arts has to offer because I see what's coming down the road every day in class. So I think my biggest takeaway would be competing. Uh, it's helped me out with scholarships and paying for college, along with giving me uh, work skills and personal skills. I think it's absolutely amazing. For a district to even come up with this concept is great. It prepares everybody for the world that they want to enter. It's been incredible. I've been here for two and a half years and to watch their growth, uh, to watch all the ideas that are coming from our teachers, it's just been really an awesome journey with them. We have a variety of students that go on to pursue um, and further their education in culinary arts, going to places like Culinary Institute of America and Johnson & Wales University, just to name a few. I do have dreams one day of opening a bakery. CIA in New York. So after high school, I plan to attend the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park. My ultimate dream would probably be a professional chef or a private chef. We have a love of food, and to see it fostered in someone so young as a junior and senior in high school, there's nothing better. 